Hey guys, this is Claudia. I'm back here playing Stardew Valley. First, order of business, watch the TV. Tomorrow's gonna be partially cloudy. Alright, so no rain, unfortunately. Spirits are very happy today, so today is going to be a day we're going to go and crack all our geodes open. We have, I think, like seven of them at this point. Wait, oh, hold on, I totally missed that. Living off the land. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of the town where the river meets the ocean. We actually have already found those and dug those up like yesterday, I believe. So we're going to kind of ignore that. Um, let's go ahead and refill our watering can. Water these bad boys and head out to the town because we still have four. It's been a couple of days. Okay, three people we have to go and meet who I have to track down. And I'm still trying to figure out who they are, where they are. There's so many of them like scattered around. I think they're all kids, is my my guess. We have Sebastian, who is a greasy little teenager who hides in his room. We still have to get a hold of him. And then a couple of children. And then we'll have met everyone in the town. Okay, like I said, at some point we're going to have sprinklers that are going to do this work for us, so I won't have to show you guys this tedious work. We don't have too many crops right now, but I will probably be cutting that content. And I would like to clear out, I might also have a day where I clear out just kind of the, the rocks and stones all around here. Because we're going to start building stuff as soon as possible. Let's, let's go see if we can find Sebastian right off the bat. We have our stuff watered. We'll come back. We'll do some work on the farm later tonight. We're going to check up here, see if there's anything to forage. Not a thing. Oh, nope. We have a spring onion right here. Perfect. Just kidding. That is a leek. Which is a little fatter than the spring onions. It's only 8 o'clock, so it's pretty early. Caroline. That's right. We haven't met Caroline, I don't think. So the uh, piers opens at 9. We're going to have to wait a little bit. Let's check what's on the bulletin board here. Does anyone have an extra sardine? So Pam needs a sardine. We might be going fishing. Probably not, though. We're not... Until we can craft bait, we're probably not going to be doing a whole lot of fishing. It's only 8.30. Let's see here. Let's talk to Shane. What do you want? Leave me alone. Always a joy, Shane. Startup saloon's not open yet. We got Penny down here. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Penny's such a sweetheart. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Girl, you tell me. I know it. Let's go in. Oh, we have 10 minutes. Aha! Okay, let's go. Here, I need your wife. Where is she? Caroline. Oops. There she is. Have we met you yet, Caroline? Hello, you must be Claudia. I'm the new, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Awesome. So we have two people to go. My husband runs a general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Yep, she was hard to miss, Caroline. So this might go on the back burner for a little bit, meeting all these people. I'd like to stop up here and get some more crops before the end of the day. Let's just see if anyone's down at the beach. Maybe grab some clams. That sort of thing. Awesome, we got some of these. Got some worms in the ground to dig up. And some clay. All right. And I think we basically cleared up the beach yesterday. I guess nothing's gonna spawn here. That's okay. That is Fabio. No, Elliot. Hello, Claudia. Are you well? <laughs> Yes, Elliot, I'm well. Thanks for asking. And we still can't go into his house. I don't believe I've ever gotten in his house. Even on my save with... Oh, uh, look at all that stuff over there. Even on my save with, like, 80-something hours, I don't think I ever made it into Elliot's house. So, clearly it's VIP only. Hopefully we'll become good enough friends with Elliot and his beautiful mane of hair. Where'd he go? There's Penny reading alone. No surprise there. So we're gonna go up to Robin's house, see if she has any cool furniture for us. Yeah. 
This stuff is nice, but it's not not high priority right now. Yeah, so later on in the game we're gonna have uh, wooden lamp posts. We'll probably have some lamp posts around property, wood floor, stone floor, some stepping stones, straw floor, and then a crystal path. Just ultra fancy. But we don't even have there he is, but we can't we can't get to him because I'm not gonna have friends with him. Okay, so we'll hopefully catch Sebastian sometime. And we're gonna we're gonna try to do gift giving for the first time. I have no idea if Robin likes this or not, but gift giving is basically the fastest, easiest way to become friends with someone in Stardew Valley. People have likes and dislikes, loves and hates of certain gifts and there are, you know, spreadsheets online that you can look up to try to win people over, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if Robin likes this daffodil that I have. Thank you, this might come in handy. Okay, so she, she doesn't mind it, she's not crazy about it, but... Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yes, it is. We are missing your son, actually, who won't come out of his basement. And some random child. But yeah, so... Robin liked it, wasn't crazy about it. If, if a character loves your gift, they will let you know. And you will increase your... Oh, some worms. You'll increase your friendship with them. Oh, we have our very first artifact, and it is a book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Awesome. So next time we go to the library, we can check that out. This is not what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at the social chart I guess for you guys so yeah we've, we've already given Robin given Robin one gift we can give her two this week we can give everyone two this week uh they I mean the daffodil that's just something you know you can kind of find in the ground obviously if it's more expensive or rarer they most people like it more most of the characters do so we're gonna try to try to start making better friends with people and we also have to start thinking about our potential mate at some point so trying to figure out which which person in town we would maybe like to make babies with which is a lot of pressure but I guess that's how they do it in Stardew Valley clear up some space because I want to have this area hoed so that I can just go ahead and Put those down tomorrow. Green algae. I think we, we're safe to go ahead and sell that. That's pretty common. I'll keep that leak for now. I'll put the sap away. Sap becomes very important later on in the game. Wood and clay, those can also go away. And then I'll go ahead and sell the fiber and the green algae. It's not going to make us much money, but I, I am trying to conserve as much space as possible. So let's see here. I'm going to cut some of this grass here. Not all of it, but most of it. This is different than the, the weeds. Like you can see the, like this type of thing right here. Those are different. Those can give you fiber. This grass here though, when you are able to get animals, if you cut this, it will actually turn into hay. So that's why I kind of want to leave it right there for now because I think in later seasons it'll regrow if we save up enough money for those animals. So... I'm going to hold most of this right now. By tomorrow, it's probably not all going to be flat like this. Uh, animals actually do come in and can attack your, I guess, crows is what they are. They can come and attack your crops. And sometimes if you have like an area hoed but nothing planted there, they'll come in and clear that out. But that's okay. I want to do most of this work today so that tomorrow we can basically just buy the seeds and water them and be good to go. And I also want to, I want to get rid of this tree here and kind of clear almost of this area. These trees are very common. Uh, I have no problem cutting these down. If we save up enough money for a fruit tree, I would like to create a little orchard maybe right here. I think that would be nice. So let's cut that. And then we'll go ahead with our synthesis. I just finished watching, what one was it, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. My boyfriend and I are doing a Harry Potter marathon since he's a loser and has never seen all the movies. And I work at Universal and that's clearly unacceptable. 
So we are working our way through, and we feel like we've watched so many of them just in the past couple weeks and realized today that we're only halfway through. <laughs> so it's fun to, I feel like this is kind of like an annual thing for me, either my family or friends or roommates at some point kind of start to say like, you know, we should rewatch all the Harry Potter movies, and it's just kind of like a, okay, you know, it's that time of year. I have no problem with it. Okay, I'm not going to do any more hoeing around, because we have no more energy. No more energy to hoe. Uh, you know, mm, did I keep any acorns or anything like that? No, I didn't keep that. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now because, it, you know, it's getting pretty late anyways. However, what we could do the next time that we are low on energy is we could go ahead and craft one of these field snacks, which is... Uh, the ingredients are one acorn, one maple seed, and one pine cone. So basically all we'd have to do is cut down a couple trees and we would be able to make one of those bad boys and get more energy. And... Alright, we're not going to worry about it right now. We did... I'm, I'm happy with our progress today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow ourselves to go ahead and, and rest up here. Okay, we made a fair... Ah, we did terrible today actually, but that's okay. I mean... We haven't had any of our crops produce anything, so I'm not, I'm not too terribly worried about that. By the end of the spring, I think we'll have enough to, to splurge on some big purchase, whether it be uh, uh, maybe a coop for some, some chickens or something like that, or I don't know, maybe something big. I'll have to start thinking about, about what I want to do at the end of the season. Hopefully we make enough with our crops, but... Uh, I'm gonna stop the video right here and kind of break it up a little bit more. I know I've been doing half hour videos, but uh, I'm gonna try to maybe stop right here and go day by day with this. Um, so I will see. I will see you guys later. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.